Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So a new law just took effect in the state of California. This new law comes from SB 1327. This new law pays people to turn in their neighbors for gun control violations. So if someone has a ghost gun or an assault weapon and your neighbor sees it and they can see that you transported it or that you have possession of it. This channel is proud to be sponsored by the USCCA. If you're not a member yet, I definitely suggest checking it out. With your USCCA membership, you get that self-defense liability insurance. So if something happens to you, you're forced to defend yourself. You call the number on the back of the card. They have a 24-7 hotline. They will get an attorney out to represent you, and they will take care of you through the entire process. It's the best peace of mind you could ever have. And if you sign up in the month of February, all membership levels are going to get this cleaning kit right here. It's a very nice Otis cleaning kit. It's got several different brushes, patches, and everything else you're going to need inside. Now, if you sign up for the Platinum or Elite membership, which is uh, what I've had now for the past five or six years. Uh, you will also get this very nice, very big duffel bag style range bag that has a lot to offer. It's got molly webbing all over it. It's got a lot of space in the middle, a lot of pockets. Definitely worth checking out. So check out the link down below to the USCCA during the month of February and take advantage of it. Now, just a quick note, if you sign up with the link down below between today and February 15th, you'll also get this free tactical flashlight. It's a really nice EDC flashlight, excellent pocket carry, only one button on the back turns the flashlight on. You also have strobe. This is a great addition to your EDC, so make sure you sign up before February 15th. Now, you might remember SB 1327 as the bill in California back in 2022 that would allow people to sue the firearms industry. But what people don't know about that bill is it also allows people to sue over gun control violations that they witness in the state of California against private citizens. As a matter of fact, they're promoting it, they're happy about it, and I have this video which shows one of the legislators actually talking about suing private individuals. So if someone has a ghost gun or an assault weapon and your neighbor sees it and they can see that you transported it or that you have possession of it, all of a sudden they can get $10,000 plus attorney's fees. Now, while a majority of this new law does target the firearms industry and allows private individuals in the state of California to sue that industry for violating an, any one of a number of California gun control laws, it also goes after private individuals. Let me just break this down real quick. So let's say that your neighbor sees that you have something and that neighbor believes it to be what California would consider, you know, an, a, an assault weapon, right? or they see that you have something like an 80% or, or something else that might not be allowed. They can then take that to a government official and file a lawsuit against you. They're going to investigate that, and if they find that you're in violation of, you know, again, a number of California laws, and California has more than anybody else, then each one of those violations that they find that you have is going to be paid out by $10,000 per violation to the person who reported it. So it greatly incentivizes people to look out for what you have. So in the law it says, there's, there's like subtle nuances in this law too. It says that if you are in possession of one of these things uh, and let's say you intend to transport it, so that could just be just throwing it in your trunk and taking it to the range. That you know, you, you're intending to transport it. Maybe you put it in your trunk, but you haven't gone anywhere yet. That could be intent to transport or just transporting it in general. So it's in your vehicle and you're leaving, right? Then this would incentivize people to report that. Now here's the problem, okay? Most of the people that would actually do something like this are people who don't know anything about what they're talking about. Okay, these are people who see something, it freaks them out because of features alone, and they don't know whether or not it's compliant or whether it's non-compliant. They just see something as a whole, it freaks them out, it scares them, and they go straight in to report you because, well, why not, right? They don't like what you have anyway, and they might get $10,000 plus in order to do so. So now you're gonna have neighbors that you know, are not really on your side already, basically going to turn you in. So California is paying people to turn in their neighbors, they're paying people to turn on their neighbors, and they're going to be investigating people that have something that is probably 100% in compliance. I think a majority of what you're seeing people transport at least, or, you know, at least move around in public in California, more than likely is going to be compliant but a lot of the compliance stuff looks like maybe the non-compliant stuff which is still ridiculous on its own and totally unconstitutional don't get me wrong here i'm just using the words that they're using between compliant and non-compliant but still how do they know the difference how does somebody who already doesn't know anything about what you're doing know the difference between what you have 
So they're going to go, they're going to ask for an investigation, they're going to come in, and more than likely they're going to have a warrant and they're going to conduct that investigation on people who have done absolutely nothing and broken absolutely no laws. That is going to cause a problem. That went into effect this year. Now, I lived in California for almost 42 years, and I can tell you right now, in California, people are already afraid to talk about their rights in the state of California. They're afraid to let people know that they're into what we're into. They're afraid to let people know that that's their hobby. They like to go to the range. They like to have a good time because they know that a majority of the people that are around them already don't like that. This is going to lead to even more people being afraid to just simply talk about their hobby and their rights and the things that they like to do. So it, this, this is an absolutely terrible new law. Uh, it's already, part of it's been struck down by a judge already. So the part that says that, you know, you can't recoup lawyer fees and stuff like that. There's a whole lot more to it. I'll link the bill down below so you can read all about the new law if you want to and kind of get the more final details about it. But it, it's unconstitutional, just, you know, like everything else California does. It's unconstitutional. It will be overturned. But in the meantime, it's already taken effect. This already exists in the state of California and people can already do this. So if you're not schizophrenic enough about what you're, you know, what you enjoy doing, well, get ready because people are going to be actively looking for a way to try and take advantage of the system and make some money in the meantime. So anyway, I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and you guys have a great day.